Right. Well, I didn't make the charge that he did it. I said if I were if if I put myself in the McGovern camp's place with no issues and nothing to run on, uh, it might be a good idea to have a scandal in the Republican Party. So hire somebody to set up the Watergate incident. And uh, in thinking, I remembered the missile gap of 1960, which didn't exist, but it was a campaign issue. And uh, the name Tuck came to my mind, and I remembered Richard Tuck because he pulled more shenanigans on me than I can even list or remember. So I've informed the, uh, the uh, New York office, I mean the Washington office about that. They're doing a lot of research on it. Uh, it just doesn't make sense to me that the Republican Party would want to bug the Democrat headquarters, because we know everything they're doing or can do, and they know everything we're doing or can do. And while I don't charge Richard Tuck with this, uh, if I put myself in the McGovern's camp, uh, something like this real cute uh, might come up. My question, though, is how would Tuck or anybody else convince a Republican to be caught in a situation of burglary? Well, uh, let me put it this way. Uh, if I wanted to bug your office, I could get a superb job done for $500. Now, when I uh, talk about 100000 which we're talking about here, uh, it would take that kind of money to get a man to admit or even say that he was a Republican, or even if he had been employed by the Nixon administration to double-cross the Nixon administration. So we're talking uh, in money that uh, is ridiculous to start with. You were asked in the uh, luncheon just now by one of the uh, guests uh, what you would do different uh, if you had 1964 to do over again, and I didn't quite get your answer. <laughs> I said I probably wouldn't run, <laughs> but I didn't mean that. Uh, uh, I wanted to run because I didn't want to see the party fall in the hands of the Eastern liberals. And while we knew we couldn't beat Johnson, uh, we knew we could set up an organization that would four years later be able to elect Richard Nixon. And I think we were very successful in this. Even though we were badly beaten, we came out with a, a better party than we've ever had before or since. And uh, Mr. Nixon was elected on this and will be re-elected on it. Uh, Mr. McGovern, the Democratic candidate, uh, is somewhat similar to you in your position in 1964, according to the polls and the way he's running. Do you identify with him or sympathize with him in any way? Oh, I sympathize with him, but I don't identify with him. Uh, there's no comparison when you get down to it, unless you want to compare the polls, and in the polls, I'm way ahead of him. Uh, so he's got a hell of a ways to go. Uh, there's just no comparison. He, uh, he started off wrong. He worked outside the Democratic Party. And you cannot get elected to anything in this country without some organization behind you, the Democratic Party or the Republican Party, locally, statewide, or national. What do you think about McGovern's proposal to reduce uh, spending by $32 million in this area? I don't, I don't like to use this word, but... It's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Uh, and it comes strictly from ignorance because he doesn't realize what chopping $32 billion off our budget would do. It would a little more than pay the troops. Uh, might buy them some food, but that's it. And we would have no new weapon systems. And right now we're just beginning to have good weapon systems have become available. And I would say that instead of cutting it, that we're going to have to increase it at least ten billion dollars uh, for the next, uh, I can see, ten years.